This uh, is a video um, to just go through some of the design considerations there for the Easy Grey Bar um, hand piece. Um, these are the components of the hand piece. So the barrel, uh, the tool piece um, comes up to just around about here uh, and the barrel butts up to that but the, it's just a little bit shy of the tool piece and the piston here will come through around about two millimeters, something like that. So you should just be able to see that coming through. I've taken the uh, spring as to be at the maximum length of stroke. It could go further back than that, but um, there's a there's a, um, uh, a a limit to the frequency you can have and. Uh, the, the stroke length. So this fits into the handpiece and then there's this spacer here which has a hole down the middle which fits onto the top of that and it fits over the top of the spring and rests on the solenoid and this comes level with the barrel. When the handpiece goes on top here, that will hold the whole lot in place. There's a hole down the middle which will take a spring. And this spring is part of the mechanism that you can use to actually tune the handpiece to some extent. The tip of this um, piston here is um, not mild steel, it's uh, slightly harder. It, it's not that hard but it, it may need um, uh, to be hardened a little bit more uh, for when it actually strikes on the end of the, uh, the tool piece. If you look at this uh, piston here, if I hold my finger to where the maximum is, you can see it gets a, a full, full length of stroke. If I go any faster than the maximum that I've actually programmed into the Arduino, then what tends to happen is that the stroke length shortens and you don't get the full force. So you might want that, you, you might not. I want it a little bit more consistent if I can. Um, if I shorten the length with my finger, it has an effect on the, um, the minimum amount of uh, power which is required to uh, uh, activate the solenoid. So this is very, very light. I shorten that then I can actually go even lighter than that. It's not getting the full length of the, the stroke there so nothing will be striking. It's starting to strike there now. I have the full length of stroke, it probably wouldn't be striking because it's not actually connecting, it's not going right the way down. It's only when you 
get up to look the higher power rates that it starts to strike. So the spring has uh, can have an effect on that. That's the spring that fits in the end here. I think that length, which is just poking out, is a good general purpose length. <coughs> a slightly longer length spring might be useful for uh, very fine detail work. The next video I'll do uh, will uh, will show the uh, uh, demonstration of this on a steel plate.